guys, it's Jay from Jay's Beauty. Hope everyone's well. And thank you so much for um, following me, liking, sharing my videos. Um, in this particular video, I wanted to showcase uh, some of the new business ventures that I've been going into in terms of my products that I'm using for my clients and, and the business in general. Um, this video is going to be showcasing doTERRA and doTERRA oils. I received my pack today which I'm very excited about and doTERRA specialise in essential oils and um, over the next coming weeks I will showcase more on the individual oils and their properties in regards to healing and and you know health and things like that but in this particular video i wanted to sort of show you the oils that came in my starter pack and to tell you a little bit about their properties so i hope that you enjoy this short video um just in regards to uh, the oils and my new little business venture so thank you guys really excited so let's go ahead and open this so ooh, so we've got some oils ooh. we've got some more oils and we've got this box this is um, the diffuser. Right, so let me show you better. Here's the uh, reed diffuser. Here are all my essential oils that came with my starter kit. And this is just the literature that comes with it just to tell you about the oils, the business, everything like that. I'm so excited because um, anyone that has used essential oils before um would know that they are amazing but this product doTERRA off the charts okay so this is the first oil i wanted to talk about it's frankincense i don't know if you can see it um frankincense has so many good properties and um, this one in particular um, can help in terms of scarring and um, things like that. So uh, like I said in other videos, I'll talk a little bit deeper about their properties. I also got peppermint. Now peppermint is amazing for cleansing um, and just refreshing in your skin. It's also really good for muscular pains and things like that. So like I said, I'll go through it a little bit more in depth and another video and um, I also received lemon which you can actually um, ingest as well oregano which people are probably thinking why is that an oil you can cook with this as well um, I also received lavender um, now I don't I'm not a big fan of lavender oil um, but it has very 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 good properties and I'll go in depth about that later. I also received a soothing blend, which doTERRA do, and it's called Deep Blue. Um, and this has really good properties for muscular pains, um, just pains in general, headaches, things like that. Um, also Melaleuca. And you're probably thinking, what is Melaleuca? Melaleuca is a tea tree oil, basically. Um, also I received an essential oil blend called On Guard. Now, this has different um, essential oils within this one, so we'll go in depth about it. Um, Zen Jest, which is another essential oil blend by doTERRA. And last but not least, Breathe, which is um, another blend. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk more about frankincense and I'll talk to you about its properties and how I use it within my business and for my clients as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys again and I hope that you enjoyed. Hey everyone, so I promise I'm going to talk a little bit about frankincense. So this is the oil that is like the best oil that I have come across. Um, 
So a little bit of history about frankincense. It is a holy oil, which um, is mainly predominantly used in the Middle East. And a lot of it came from um, sort of holy incense and things like that. Um, and it is used for sort of uh, ceremonies, like sacrificial ceremonies and things like that, just to help improve communication with their creator, so to speak. That's a little bit of history about frankincense. That's all I know. <laughs> so don't ask me anymore. But yeah, um, I wanted to tell you about some of the primary uses and how we use it within the holistic um, community. Um, a lot of people do come up to me and they say, oh, you know, Jade, like, I've taken a look at your um, Facebook and I've seen your Instagram and I've seen that there was a girl on there and she had a lot of acne and facial treatments and, um, you know, and all her scarring has really gone down and her face has gone down. <sighs> Essential oils. <laughs> that is the key. Now, she is actually on a program that um, Jay's Beauty Therapy actually do, and I do it personally myself, um, where um, she will have a treatment for a certain amount of time um, using essential oils, and then we change up the oils. So you always have to start with what the client is more affected by, and her skin was very inflamed, so we had to work on that information. However, frankincense is very, very good for infected wounds, open wounds to the skin and things like that. And where, like, uh, she's young and she pops her spots and things like that, that's very normal because we all did it, even though we were told not to, because they were called scarring, but we've all done it before. Um, I can't tell her not to pop her spots, but using our central old blend that I made for her, she... Um, actually doesn't get as much scarring. So one of the things that, one of the oils that I've put in there is frankincense. Um, so yeah, so that's just to give you a little bit of an example. I'm not gonna tell you all the oils I use. You're gonna to have to jump onto my program. <laughs> but yeah, so frankincense can be used widely um, for a whole different range of things. Uh, from what I, a little bit of what I know people use it for um, are for arthritis, so like joint pains. Um, I actually, where I'm a trained masseuse, I get really bad joint pains in my hands. Um, and I use a bit of frankincense just on, on my joints uh, to my hands. And, you know, it's not as painful as how it was before because I was really suffering before I found it. Um, I use frankincense within my facial treatments for, like I told you, scarring. A lot of people will use it for wrinkles. Um, I've known people to use it for warts. It's a very good wart treatment um, and very good for hepatitis, so infections and things like that. Now, frankincense, you can only use uh, topically or um, you can inhale it. So people that inhale it, um, have said that they've spoken about things to do with like their memory it's helped bring back uh, memories um and some people it's helped with coughs and things like that um also i've known people to use it for ulcers so it's just a few different ways and different um treatments that i know people have used frankincense for i absolutely love frankincense as an oil on its own but it can be mixed very well with other oils depending on what your issue and what um, you need it for depends on what oils you'll mix it with. So um, how I use frankincense, I take a little bit of it like so, don't think you can see it, not so much, but yeah and I just apply it directly we call it topically onto the skin, as so. And um, that is basically it. There's no stinging effect. There's no burning. That's it. You just leave it on. And I do use this 
um, for my own self when I have spots that will come up um, I will put it on and it will calm it down and 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 it will go um, I personally don't um, like wearing makeup when I'm doing these YouTube videos I'm not a makeup fan in general but I don't like wearing makeup because I want you to see um, naturally how all the oils are working on me um, and what I use them for and you can see my actual face now I don't know if you can see I had really bad scarring all across here at one point and I've used frankincense um, mixed with another oil as well and it has completely sort of transformed my face where I don't have to wear that much makeup um, but yeah and as you can see you know I'm gonna I get the odd spots because it's, it's stuff that we eat in our food stuff that you know is in our diet things like that so you are gonna get the odd spot it's just how you handle it and how you deal with it uh, but that is frankincense and if you do have any more questions about frankincense and what to mix it with and if you have any have any stories that um you can tell me about your uses with frankincense and i'd love to hear it uh, so yeah this was frankincense today and um i'll be talking a bit more about some of the other essential oils that i use within my within my treatments but thank you so much for tuning in <laughs>